my brother and I killed our own family using knives and hatchets. My name is Robert Beaver, and this is the story of our familicide. We were a family of seven, including my parents David and Bever, and my teenage siblings Michael, Crystal, Daniel, and my younger siblings Christopher, Victoria, and Autumn. We were homeschooled and were not allowed to interact with our neighbors or other children. Our father was physically and verbally abusive to us. Our family's lifestyle was so low profile that some neighbors only found out our family's full names for the first time after the murder. Michael and I intended to kill and dismember our family's bodies, hide them in storage bins, and stash them in the attic of our house. We also planned to carry out a shooting spree after murdering our family, hoping to outdo the 1999 Columbine High School massacre. Our goal was to steal our family car, shoot, and kill random people at multiple locations. I admired serial killers and wanted to strike in locations outside of Oklahoma, with the aim of achieving a body count of up to 500 people or more. For killing more than one person made me feel like a god. On July 22, 2015, I pretended to be under attack to lure our family members and then we slit their throats and stabbed them in various parts of their bodies. As we were about to kill Daniel, he managed to call 911. The police arrived shortly after, forced their way into the house, and found Crystal bleeding from multiple stab wounds, with our two-year-old sibling Autumn who was alive and unharmed. The rest of our family members were dead. We fled the scene and ran to the wooded area behind our house, covered in dirt and blood with a knife in my hand. However, we were caught quickly with the help of a K-9 unit. I laughed as I told the police officers in detail how we killed our family. They also found a shipment of boxes containing 3,000 rounds of ammunition that were supposed to be delivered on July 23rd. We were charged with five counts of first-degree murder and one count of assault and battery with the intent to kill. Authorities have labeled our killings as the worst single criminal event in Broken Arrow history. On July 6, 2016, I attempted suicide by hanging myself with a bed sheet and was placed on suicide watch. I pleaded guilty to all counts and was sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole, while Michael was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole. I was housed in the Joseph Harp Correctional Center, while Michael was in the Lexington Correctional Center.